Welcome back to Talking Dragon Age, the show where I talk about Dragon Age. In this episode, we're looking at Valimar, the dwarven trading post beneath the hinterlands. At first, it seems like just a dwarven dungeon. Carta moved in for Red Lyrium, Darkspawn on the lower levels, standard stuff. It was exposed after a fissure or something that opened it up to the surface. But upon closer inspection, there's some weird stuff in here. So in the game, the Carta moved in because they were hired to mine Red Lyrium from the Primeval Tag, and this place was connected and made for a good base. They hired mercenaries to make a ruckus so no one got too curious. Darkspawn were on the lower levels, you know, down some stairs. So the dwarves put up rudimentary defenses and just decided to not go down there. You know, down the stairs. I feel like maybe the dwarves of Orzammar can learn something. If there's a staircase and a bridge, the Darkspawn are thwarted. But here's the thing. The vault is locked. According to the notes, the mechanism was broken and they needed the gears to make it work. One was in the office, but the other was in the Darkspawn area. You know, like 20 feet away. And killing the three Darkspawn and crossing the bridge was like... a whole thing. So the boss decided to not bother. But we can retrieve it because we're not afraid of a little exercise. After all, we had to go up and down a bunch of stairs just to get here, so... Even for dwarves, I think these guys are just lazy, which is why they didn't want to go through the extra effort to make a shortcut back to the entrance. Anyway, inside the vault is where things get weird. The boss had suspected a bunch of old family heirlooms or other stuff not worth getting excited about. What we find instead is at least one darkspawn, so that's kind of odd. Like, I can see them locking it in here and dismantling the mechanism so it can't get out, but... Why? It's just one, or maybe three. Maybe this was during the first blight, before they knew anything? They just encountered a handful and locked these up before they realized that a horde was coming for them? That's all I can think of. But more significantly, these statues around... Okay, so we got some golden statues here of the elven god June, the dread wolf, and this elf angel person. This elf angel person is actually seen elsewhere in places you wouldn't expect. The first is in Vivian's house. You see part of it over the fountain. Uh, the next is on Skyhold's Orlesian throne, if you have the accessories. They are also in the Black Emporium, not that that means anything. And finally, on one of the Orlesian beds. It's weird. The, these almost look like a sari with pointed ears. In concept art for the bed, we can see that they're actually supposed to be wearing headdresses, but still seem to have pointed ears. Why would Orlesians have this statue of an elf with wings? Valroyo has these lions with wings over the gates. So I'm having trouble wrapping my head around these things. Why would Orle have any statues with pointed ears? Like, what would this be representing? It could be an elf with wings, a canary with wings, or a demon. I can't think of any other options. And based on the presence of these things in the Vault of Valimar, the design dates back to about a thousand years ago at least. Orlay is the kind of place where stuff goes in and out of style all the time. So I suspect someone recently found some of these old statues and Orlay, well, appropriated them, for lack of a better term, because they look cool. And they do look pretty cool. Why would they keep the ears? Also, on the throne, we got this lady up here, whose ears seem to be even more obvious. And it's weird that you get the attachments for the throne by war table operations for resources in the Dales. I guess, where else in Orlais would you get them? But, I don't know, it just seems odd. And my friend Crimson Wolf pointed out the figure kind of looks like it might represent Mythal because the bowls might represent justice, like a scale. And the wings, but these are more bird wings than dragon wings. And I guess it makes sense that a figure on the throne would have a symbol of justice like a scale, but I can't get over these pointed ears. Anyway, Vault of Valimar. Now, I've brought up before, reused assets usually don't mean much to me, but I'm hurting for some environmental storytelling, and I find it really weird these things would be part of Orlesian decor. But of course we can't ignore the other statues in the vault. We got most notably statues that represent Valandin and the Dread Wolf, 
along with some other treasures that don't exactly look dwarven. I'm thinking the dwarves of Valimar found this stuff in an elven ruin or something. Actually, this place connects to the primeval tag. Probably several miles away through caves and roads, as Bianca describes, but it's probably closer than Kirkwall was. That was a week or two journey for the expedition. And the Red Lyrium apparently grew and reached farther away from the Tig in the, what, eight years since Hawk was there? So the dwarves would have found some elven stuff and brought it back to Valimar to store in the vault. I covered in a previous episode how the elves were probably involved with the primeval Tig at some point. There may have even there may have even been an alluvian. And the Canari found another elven ruin connected to the Deep Roads, and so did the group in Genitivi Dies in the End from Deventer Knights. So it's not out of the realm of possibilities that some dwarves stumbled onto this stuff, brought it back to the vault, but then the first blight happened and they lost to the Darkspawn. So in conclusion, Valimar may have been close to something huge, but then the blight happened and all that potential was lost. At least that's my theory. What do you guys think? Now obviously this could just be a case of reused assets, doesn't really mean anything, but this is part of the game. It's canon. It's here. We can't just pretend it's not. We're not a government. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and like, and remember, tala nadas.